Hey, welcome back to a new vlog and to my art studio. So my art studio might look a little bit different than how you remember it. I'll get into that here soon. But this vlog is all about reorganizing my space and cleaning it up and kind of rearranging some things. So yeah, let me show you what it looks like right now. So here's all of my oil painting stuff. Um, it is very messy. I need to, you know, put stuff away and reorganize it, but I need to figure out how I want to do that first. Um, but this butcher block was over here, <laughs> um, which as you can see, now I have a white desk, but we're going to move this back into the bedroom it was in. So this white desk will be going away and I think we'll get a new table to go here. So I'm going to change up a few more things in my art space during this vlog and just make it more inspiring and how I want to, to feel in here is just more inspired and cozy. So I want to give it that feel and today a new easel is coming. I'm so excited because I've had this easel here for gosh, I don't know, 12 years or something like that. So I'm really excited to get a brand new, really nice easel. And also I'm going to be getting some new lighting in here. So you'll see all of that coming up. Jimmy put together my new easel and I will show you what it looks like as well as some b-roll from last night of him putting it together. Look at that beauty right there. Isn't it so beautiful? It only took Jimmy maybe like an hour and a half to put it together and I tried helping him, but he basically did it all. <laughs> That's what husbands are for, right? <laughs> and then look at it compared to that one. It just looks so nice. I'll link this easel in the description of this video. I got it on Amazon, so I'll link it in case you would like to check it out for yourself. Hey, it's a few days later, and here is the state of my art space right now. It is a total mess. Here is a massive new light that Jimmy bought me. Yeah, I don't really know how to use it yet. And my butcher block desk thing here is right there. It was on this Alex drawer thing. But we are going to replace this whole thing, like the setup that I had uh, my palette on and stuff with this table. So this is a new table and I plan on having it right here beside my easel. I just need to organize everything and, you know, like move it there and whatnot. But, and it comes with drawers, like two drawers, which is really cool. And I think we got this on Amazon. I'll link this down below if you wanted to check it out on Amazon. I'm really excited to use it. I feel like it's going to be really good when I paint and as the height is adjustable I just have to move this thing to adjust the height so that's exciting and then my butcher block desk will be going right here we got legs for it they haven't came yet but we bought like a thingy that will hold the butcher block um, with legs so that is going to go over here and I'm going to move this white table back 
in the other room where it was. And this was left over from my live stream paint and chat. <laughs> and then yes, we have another light up here, another light. <laughs> it's not gonna stay there. I have some new lights for my channel. I'm still trying to figure them out. So there's that. This is a whole other light I won't even get into. But the next thing I need to do is I need to organize all this stuff, move this table right here, figure out where I'm going to put this drawer thing. And yeah, lots, <laughs> lots of cleaning up to do. That's for sure. from cools to my warms here and then I have yeah my white and black and my Galka gel and then in here I am thinking that I will have it be for all of my brushes like my acrylic brushes my oil brushes and maybe even also my watercolor brushes so yep I probably shouldn't figure out where I want everything yet because wait for it currently in the entryway of my house so the lighting is terrible but here is what just arrived floor tiles for my art room so my whole entire floor in my art room and my art studio is going to be covered in these black floor tiles I'm so excited and Rowan just woke up so I need to go get him floors right now. I love it. Now I don't have to worry about getting paint on the carpet and it just looks really nice and sleek. I linked the floor tiles that I bought on Amazon in the description of this video if you wanted to check them out for yourself for your art space. And now I will kind of share my thoughts on the layout of my art room because we took everything out of here like everything so i'm like okay well this is a good opportunity to rearrange things so i'll share my thoughts with you by the way do you like my socks so cute i got them at old navy anyways so um, we did bring some things in here just to get them out of the way because our house is a total mess right now with all my stuff everywhere. <laughs> so my thought is that over here I had my library card catalog. Okay, so I'm thinking of putting this Alex drawer right here and then I can store like all of my video stuff <laughs> and lighting stuff and um, other things like that. What I'm thinking is that all of this area here will be kind of like an area I don't film very much of. I can have my lights and my tripods and all that over here out of the way. And then this cart here, this moves. So I'm thinking of moving this more or maybe keeping it here. I don't really know yet, but it does move. So I'm not too worried about that. So this will have to be next to my easel because I plan on having my palette on it and all of my oil painting stuff, as well as, you know, has all of my oil paints 
and brushes stored in there. And then I have this compartment with my plants on it. So I'm thinking of keeping this over here by the window. And then I want to take this pegboard down. I don't know yet what I want to do about my pegboards. I do want to use them though. So we'll see. This is the butcher block <laughs> for my desk. That will be coming soon. I think today actually it'll arrive because this we got like legs kind of like this for this butcher block here that we can set it on and it'll have legs and with wheels so I can move it around. So I'm thinking of having it over here in this area in front of the window like it used to be. Then we have my Calyx compartment here for my Kia. I'm thinking of leaving it over here and then putting my library card catalog right here on this wall. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Um, we'll see if, if it happens, <laughs> if I change my mind. And then all of this will be like my painting area. I'll have my easels here. I hope to have like paintings I'm working on on this wall. And then over here, I plan on having my mirror back right here, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So, yep, that's it for now. And that is it for part one of my art studio makeover. If you'd like to watch part two, you can find part two down below in the description of this video. And if it has not came out yet, it will soon. I can't wait to finish my art studio. It's going to look amazing. <laughs> amazing. We are maybe halfway done. So um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to be sure that you catch part two when it does come out if it hasn't already. And subscribing and liking this video really helps my channel and I appreciate it very much. And appreciate you for watching if you made it this far. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!